some surrealist art as quick as I can using Adobe Photoshop. So I have found some images on Google uh, doing an image search. I'm going to make a folder on my Google Drive and I'm going to call it Surrealist Art. So I'm going to push this little gear and say new folder and I'm going to go to, I'm going to type Surrealist Art. I'm going to say Surrealist Art 2 because I already made a Surrealist Art folder. There we go. I've got my Surrealist Art folder there on Google. I'm going to take the images I found. I'm going to right click them, say Save Image As and I'm going to save my images to my Google Drive folder, Google Drive, my drive, and then go into the folder I just made, which for you guys will be in your grade four folder. I'm going to go into my Surrealist Art folder and save it there. Now I've already saved my images there, so I'm not going to show you how to do any more of that. I'm going to switch over to Photoshop. So I'll open Photoshop from my launch pad. I just go to the launch pad and type Photoshop, click it to open it up. Here it is. Now I'm going to open those three files that I saved in my Google Drive. I'm going to choose File and I'm going to choose Open. I'm going to go to my Google Drive, go to the folder I created before, which is in my grade four folder, and I called it Surrealist Art. I'm going to go down. I'm going to choose all three images and open them all at the same time by clicking the top image, holding Shift, and clicking the bottom image, and hitting Open. Boom. One, two, three images. One, two, three. three. They're all open there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by... Now we can continue. There are lots of different ways to select in Photoshop. I can select using a rectangle selection tool here. But I can also select elliptical shapes like this. I, because this planet is completely round, I'm going to use the elliptical selection tool. And I'm just going to really quickly try my very best to select just around it. Sometimes I have to try a few times to get it perfect. And that's totally fine when I'm happy that my little marching ants are right around the planet. I'm going to say edit copy. I'm going to click back over here to my photo and I'm going to paste it. Edit paste. Let me zoom in a bit by pinching out. And it's too big. I'm going to move it around with this arrow tool here. This arrow tool lets me move it around and to make it smaller I choose edit, transform, and scale. Now I grab the anchors at the side. I hold shift while I make it smaller until I make it more or less the size of my iris. And then I push the check mark. I'm going to use my eraser tool to erase the bottom part of the planet. So I'm going to make sure I have my planet layer selected over here. It's called layer one. If I wanted to rename it, I could just double click it and call it planet. I think I called it planety by accident. Here's my eraser tool. I can click my eraser tool. Go up here, I can change the size of my eraser and how hard my eraser is. I want a soft eraser for this. And then I erase part of my eye, or part of the planet, so it looks like my eyelid is covering up part of my iris. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity of the planet slightly, just to make it a bit see-through. Next thing, dragon. Go over my dragon layer here. I'm going to use my magic wand selection tool for this one. I'm going to click all of the white background that I can. What I'm going to do is select all the white background that I can. I'm going to make sure that I have this. That means that it adds to my selection each time. And I'm going to click all the different white areas that I can and see if I can select it all. Any place that's not selected, I'm going to click, click, and click. And then I'm going to select the opposite or the inverse by choosing Select Inverse. Then Edit Copy. Then back over here to my photo. I'll paste it in. I need to make it smaller. Edit Transform Scale, just like before. I hold Shift to make sure that it maintains its aspect and ratio. And I'm going to shrink it so that the dragon looks like it's hugging my iris. Oh, wow. Cool, huh? All right. I'm going to push that until it's just hugging my iris. And I push the check mark when I'm happy. Check mark. And again, I can change the opacity if I want. Just like that. And I'm going to push uh, my eraser tool again and maybe erase part of the dragon tail. Here. Kind of like that. And that is how you do it. The last thing I do, I'm going to save it back to my Google Drive folder like this. File. Save as. And then over here, click on my Google Drive. My Drive. 20, 18, 19. Or for you, that'll be your grade 4 folder. Then I'm going to go down to my Surrealist Art folder and I'm going to call it 
Surrealist art. Okay. Done. That's how you do it. Hey, bravo. And we did it with time to spare.